countries already been worked out by the government. If you are taxing it, you are therefore subjecting these officers to suffering wherever they travel. Seven, taxing trade associations. After taxing traders, Kenya Kwanza want to follow them and tax their associations. Associations whose duty is to fight for the welfare of members will now be deemed to be carrying out business and be taxed on gross receipts which will be deemed as income. This is a double jeopardy that will affect the welfare of businesses in the country. We oppose it. Eight, enhance VAT payments. Buried in this bill are proposals to remove from zero rating to tax exempt pharmaceutical products, agricultural pest products, and even fertilizers. Maize flour, cassava flour, and a number of other types of flaws are being moved from zero rating. Transportation of sugarcane to factories will now attract VAT. The VAT measures proposed by the bill effectively raise the cost of medicines, healthcare, and food, including that of locally produced sugar. It goes against Kenya Kwanzaa's often stated pledge to subsidize production. We object. Nine, enhance exercise duty, enhance excess duty on imported cement. Kenya Kwanzaa wants to raise duty on imported cement. It will be a signal for local